first step is to remove all of these screws yeah. except this one in the corner. With the top panel removed, undo this screw here. Exposing the control board. From there, you're going to want to label your individual connections down here and then remove them and pull them through from the back while also removing this plug over here. If this plug proves difficult to remove, you can unscrew each wire individually using these screw clamps and put them into the new plug to then plug into the new board. The new board has the similar layout here. So these, these wires here will go into the same corresponding spot on the new board after first being routed through this hole here. The plug will also go back into the same green Molex connection on this side. Once installed, you're going to want to place the sticker that comes with your new board right over the front here and then follow the instructions in the sheet in order to learn how to register your machine online. Make sure that you are uh, going to plug this in back correctly. Make sure that you label your wires before removing them. Once all of the different connections are unplugged, you can pull the, uh, you can pull all of your plugs out through this same hole. Before you reroute these plugs through the same hole, you have to make sure that the dip switches on your board are in the correct position. You want to make sure that they are closer to the on side, closer to where you're plugging things in. From there, simply plug your plugs back in through this hole and then plug them back in corresponding to where you took notes for. Dip switches are for voltage.